Yo guys, welcome to my brutally honest re uh, first impressions of Shining Re Re Resonance Refrain. So, this is disregarding all the stuff that has happened to me over the past couple of days with the Draconic Edition for this game. So, once again, I'm ignoring all that that's what happened. I really want to thank GameStop for giving me the full refund for the game and another copy of the game. Sega has yet to do anything yet so far. It's been 72 hours since I submitted a support ticket. The Twitter has been useless right now. They haven't even contacted me back about the trouble. So once again, this first impression is just disregarding all those that bullshit that happened to me. So I want to get into kind of my first impressions of this game. I played roughly about 20 to 30 hours of the game. And to be quite honest with you guys, it's not that great. I was expecting quite a bit more from a remaster for this game. Seeing as how even Valkyrie Chronicles Remastered did a much better job than this game did. So for the first part, the, it's the story. Uh, I know, I understand that, hey, they made a new, completely new story for this remaster. It's great. Problem is, the story... And the characters around it are just so simply cliche. And I can, I can handle cliche. I even love cliche stuff for these Japanese titles. Problem is, when you do it with such bad characters and bad design, it just doesn't hold up well. There's a reason why Trail, I mean, Tales games are so good, even though the story is so same. It's just everything around the characters are so vibrant, so well done. And the problem I have with Shining Resonance it feels like I'm playing Akiba Beats. And when I compare a game to Akiba Beats, you know it's not going to be good. The protagonist of this story, Yuma, is so fucking bad. I hate pathetic characters like you, our main character. It just makes the whole experience feel bad. And you guys can say, hey, but you like Reen from Trails of Cold Steel. Isn't he pathetic? Reen was trying to find out what he, was, he wanted to be. He had... The abilities he didn't self even though he might have self questioned himself he didn't act sobby or pathetic about it he worked for it Yuma on the other hand is pathetic he just like self worthlessness the whole time and it feels like the character from Akiba Beats where he's just the worst character he doesn't do anything other than Yuma I mean like Yuma plays great I think he's like probably the best character so far I played because of his fucking uh, his knockdown ability. He's absolutely great. Like, he's the one, number one character I play because he's just so powerful. Other than that, like, Kirika, Sophia, all the others, just like, they're nice characters, but they're nothing outstanding in my opinion. It's just the same character tropes that you know and love. So, overall, story, character wise, it's just, it's not there for me. Um, for the most part, gameplay wise, this is what also irritates me. In a game where remasters have ability to do fast forward options, Shining Re Resonance does not have that option. You have to play at the game speed that it was intended to play. And I keep going back to saying, Trails of Cold Steel Kai is the, the, is the markstone where you need to be as a remastered. All the DLC in the game for free. That's, what all the, that's the only thing Shining Re Resonance does. It gives you the DLC and a new storyline. That's it. It doesn't do anything else. It doesn't upraise the graph. I mean, it does upraise the graphics, but it still looks like garbage to me. It's still running very, very slow in the load times. I mean, like, when you look at Trails of Cold Steel 1 Kai, even though they used the old graphics, they did upraise it, and they increased the load speed on everything. Plus, they added the fast-forward system. Games nowadays, if you need, if you're doing a remaster, you have to have a fast-forward option. Just because. You don't, you don't need, to, you players don't need to use it, but you just need it because of, of some other players that want that want that option because they don't want to play at the same speed that the game was intentionally played. And that's really one of the biggest reasons I feel like the combat is so slow. You can't adjust your camera rate. Like, it feels like a terrible Tales game. And I keep going back, it feels like Akiba Beats, guys. That game was awful, and I hate having to compare this game to Akiba Beats because it feels like Shining Resonance Refrain should be above Akiba Beats. It should be way up in a completely different category. The problem is it keeps coming back down to Akiba Beats. It feels like the game is slow. You can't customize what you want. It just feels the character just not there. The artwork is just not there. It's just inferior to everything 
in the fran and mother other franchises. And I've really been really wanting to get into the Shining series, and this just does not like it does not feel justified. And once again, like it, and I, now I'm kind of kind of bringing back my bias with Sega right now. It just feels like Sega doesn't care, guys. And this is gonna go into Valkyria Chronicles 4 when it later comes out in the U.S. later this year in September. It's just gonna bomb. If you guys don't know, Valkyria Chronicles did poor in the sales reception this year in Japan, and it doesn't help that it's playing with so many controversies. Looking just like tra looking literally just like Valkyria Chronicles 1, it hasn't been updated. The graphics are just so old. The v it everything is just. Is literally just the same system plus a grenadier, a new class. Plus, we haven't even gone to the DLC controversies where it costs like an arm and a leg for the DLCs that don't add that much. It just feels like Sega isn't putting out enough for this. And uh, it, it really hurts me, guys. Like, I really want to enjoy Shining Resonance. Don't worry, don't get me wrong, I will still platinum this game. I'll put out honestly my final impressions once I beat the game. Uh, both storylines and I'll do once again a platinum video But it just doesn't bode well for me that this is the kind of stance they're taking right now Well guys, th that is my honest brutal honest opinion shining for my first initial Response to this and impressions and it's not looking well I can't s a lot of people have been telling me just wait just wait just give it some time let you get to the end game so I don't know how much further the end game is after work from where I am, but I I'm willing. I'm willing to try, it, guys. Like, I'm gi I'm giving Sega a second chance right now. But until the next one.